<laughs> oh! Hey there, boils and ghouls, it's me, Mr. Creepypasta, and today I'm here in San Antonio, Texas. San Antonio. <laughs> Isn't that right, sweetheart? Mm -hmm. uh, my hometown is home to some of the scariest and most exciting haunted houses in all of the United States, and I've gotten the chance to show you one of them. And by one, I mean the longest and coolest two haunted houses in one, known as 13th Floor, ranked number six as the top 13 haunted houses in the entire U.S. Located near Sunset Station, some of the amazing makeup artists and talented actors at 13th Floor had agreed to doing a few creepy pasta monsters that you may have come to know and love. Let's take a look at just exactly how that was done, huh? <laughs> Sarah, Sarah, Sarah Guillen. And you just do, uh, you just do makeup here, right? Yes, uh-huh. How long have you been doing uh, the makeup here for before? Um, I started, last year was my first year, and today is my second. Well, how many people do you think that you do, uh, do the makeup for each time you go to the show? Mm, gosh, individually, maybe like 20 to 30. We tend to have about like 80 people a night, depending on the night. Um, we aim to get everyone out of there by about five minutes. Oh, uh, yeah, uh-huh. Can I get your name and how long you've been working here? Joanna, and I've been working here five years already. Five years? Yeah. I started off as an actor, and then I went into makeup. Acting wasn't my thing. <laughs> Each person, we have to spend like at least five minutes airbrushing them to get them like moving so they can finish within two hours. No, uh, what's your favorite character you think you've got Maybe. Uh, couple like I know we've done one for the like an exorcist where that to put like some weird symbols on her we're, like doing a lot of veining um clown with the zombie mix in it it's pretty cool I mean like doing zombies probably this yeah <laughs> so How's that going, huh? A little spook here, a little spook there. <laughs> I can't help but say I'm a little uncomfortable standing around in a mausoleum in the dark graveyard that's somehow inside of a haunted house. <sighs> but I mean, these are pasta monsters. Pasta monsters I'm used to seeing. How about, um, we just back up? <laughs> let's, let's take it on to the next the actor interviews. Mars, three years. Keegan, this is my first year. Uh, Nico, and this is my first year. Um, favorite scare is I was able to make someone pee, uh, pee themselves downstairs. Uh, it's probably the highlight since opening night. Um, I made a big biker dude fall on his ass. <laughs> <laughs> um, I made someone pretty much just try and fight me as much as they can or running around everywhere. Oh, don't forget the throwing up part. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, so sorry yeah, about that. <laughs> that I landed in. Thank you, Nico. <laughs> Projectile vomit. It's, it's not a fun thing, guys. Someone seriously threw up after I mean, going through his room. I made and someone I crawled throw up it. and she crawled in it afterwards. <laughs> yep. Had to hand sanitize my hand. That was this, gross. It, it's, very, it's very gross. That was nasty. <laughs> You guys have fun working here then, yeah? yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. 13th floor resides on the edge of Sunset Station. Not just that, but according to legend, next to the railroad tracks where a whole school bus of children had lost their lives. The 107-year-old building used to be a hotel. A hotel where the children of that bus had stayed the night before their untimely demise. The souls of those children remain there, protecting others 
from suffering such a similar fate. Um, I haven't really had any experiences myself. I've heard plenty about a little girl that haunts here. Um, I know a few of the people here that have had experiences with her, some good, some bad, some are different. But I myself have not had any, but I'm not going to jinx that because something tells me by the end of this year I'm going to at least one time. I don't know whether to look forward to that or not. <laughs> Um, I was working a room by myself, and there was no one in there, and it was a very slow night, so we had hardly any customers. Um, I was just walking around doing nothing, and my pant leg lifts almost all the way up, like about right here. And uh, I looked behind me, no one was there. Uh, the person in the room next to me went to the restroom, there was no one. And there was nothing that could have done. What are you, um, is this perfect for actually on it? Yes, it is. Yeah. It is. It is. <laughs> What are the experiences that you've had a chance to do, or what exactly is the haunted by? Um, there is a woman, a man, and a little kid. Um, uh, I've seen all three. Uh, the man in my room, my first year, he, uh, there is fog in the room next to me, like a bunch of fog, and so every time, like, customers go to one room, that was across from that room and they would come into my room they would push the fog in and so one day I thought there was a customer in front of my doorway and no it was just a silhouette of a man and it freaked the hell out of me my second year I saw the little girl um, she was in the room we call the tilt room because it's at a 45 degree angle she was in the corner I thought it was a customer just crying and now I go closer and it's a little kid just in the corner crying. It scared the hell out of me. <laughs> Never again. And then the woman, uh, I saw her in my second year too, uh, downstairs. Uh, me and my sister saw her. My sister had called me downstairs to help her look for something and um, we thought someone was downstairs with us because we heard someone saying hey and so we walked down one hallway and um, there was a lady at the end of the hallway and we were like trying to figure out if it was an actor or you know someone that we knew and so we got closer and closer and closer and no one was there so it kind of freaked both of us out and so we went straight upstairs we were just like, nope, I'm not going to look for anything anymore, no more. Well, kids, it looks like things are finally getting a little bit too scary for me up in this place. So how about I get right back to my Halloween countdown? And it looks like I'm finally cured of being a puppet. As long as these guys seem to be cool with that, how about I just call Puppitis finished? Huh? What do you guys think? Sound good? Oh, come on, guys. It's right there.